So I finally did it. I can get the full IMU data uh, of the MPU 6050 using uh, an Arduino Nano at uh, a full speed of uh, 100 Hz uh, of frequency. So if you look here, I I did something uh, to um, have less uh, vibration uh, using uh, an ear plug like the 3M and uh, of course uh, now the <clears throat> the MPU is uh, stable uh, on uh, the base here is the Arduino Nano that I'm using it's a clone and uh, here uh, we have uh, on Arvitz uh, the TF with visualization here I can move a bit uh, the IMU. You can see that uh, it turns uh, in real time uh, without delay, any kind of delay. I wrote the code uh, for TF and TF2 actually for ROS1. So the next step is to convert it uh, in uh, ROS2, I think. Yes. And uh, I had a lot of problem uh, in terms of uh, data transfer. Uh, now it's stable uh, using a baud rate of uh, uh, 150,000. Uh, yes. And uh, I'm uh, extrapolating uh, the data from the MPU uh, for the Quaternion. I'm using uh, the FIFO uh, buffer, uh, the first, uh, the first, um, um, how much here? Yes, uh, the first uh, 13 position to extrapolate the quaternion. And um, I'm using uh, the get uh, motion six to get uh, the uh, accelerometer and gyro data for the IMU. Uh, this because uh, I made uh, a lot of tests uh, to understand uh, to understand uh, uh, which kind of extrapolation uh, uh, from uh, the MPU uh, works uh, better. Uh, I did it. Uh, um getting uh, the dot the data directly from um, from uh, uh, the memory position uh, of the MPU uh, I try to get uh, all the data from the FIFO uh, buffer and uh, at the end uh, I understood that the best way to get the best data from uh, the MPU 6050 is to get the quaternion from uh, uh, the buffer and uh, the the remaining data from uh, the get motion six uh, function. Of course, uh, I'm using the DMP the DMP um, the DMP for to to get the the data from. Uh, uh, the IMU here so and uh, I'm having uh, a really stable uh, uh, data here if you can see that uh, I can uh, rotate uh, and uh, it happens in, in real time without delay here so I'm really excited about these uh, results because uh, I can publish directly the IMU data using uh, the ROS serial over the Arduino Nano that you know it's a little bit hard uh, in terms of memory capacity. So I had uh, to, to add uh, <laughs> some tricks uh, uh, in within the code here. So the next step... Uh, um, is to compare these results uh, with uh, an upgrade uh, uh, of the MPU 6050. I purchased uh, the other version, the one uh, with the 
um, a faster uh, uh, frequency uh, and another one with the magne magnemo ma magnetometer I, uh, sorry for uh, the <laughs> English word. I, I, I really don't know the pronunciation, but uh, that's I, I think that you understand uh, what I mean. Um, and uh, I purchased an Tinsy LC board, uh, so I will have uh, more memory and the speed, and I want to compare uh, uh, both uh, embedded board. That's all. Uh, I will do another video with the upgrade. Thank you all and remember to subscribe the channel.